again, guys. Um, I know I said I was doing a review on the TLR1S. Um, that, I lost that video, so I'm just going to do another one here real quick. Um, I picked this light up for, mm -hmm. I think it was... about a hundred bucks off Amazon and I received the shipment in two days I just paid regular standard shipping whatever whatever the seller was doing um, but we'll do a safety check before we really get into it so chamber clear mm -hmm. magwell clear safe direction um, but with the overall look of this this weapon light I like it a lot it's it's slim it doesn't you know, it doesn't stick out too wide from the gun. Um, I know the Surefires kind of, they stick out kind of really far. They're pretty wide. Um, as for the functionality of it, I like it a lot. I, was, I wasn't going for, you know, the $400 light with laser or whatever. Uh, I'm not into that. I just, you know, I need a bright white light that I can see what I'm, you know, putting my sights on. Um, this does have the strobe feature, obviously, it's a TLR-1S. Um, a lot of people say they have issues um, putting the strobe feature on because um, you have to do it within the box said 0.4 seconds, which is pretty quick. But if you're uh, if you uh, practice it, you know you can be able to do it. I do it with my thumb. I find it's a little bit more easier than do it with my uh, uh, index finger. Um, I don't have a problem reaching it at all. Um, you can also do the uh, strobe on constant. So you don't have to, you know, hold it down where it's got its momentary or just constant on. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. It, you know, it, it's slim. You know, it's just, it's a nice light. It was, you know, it comes with new, uh, comes with these different keys, so they fit different uh, rail systems. Um, this one says, uh, you're probably not gonna be able to see it with the, the light, but it, right there it says GL for Glock. Um, easy on it's just got this spring with a little uh, uh, screw right here so it's easy you know some of you that don't have holsters for light bearing holsters but, um, uh, another thing that I found that people were having a difficulty with um, mm -hmm. on these lights uh, was the battery door um, it can be tricky but if you know how to do it it's quite a cinch but this tab right here, all you have to do is lift up like this and then pry this towards the front of the light, okay? And then you're going to push up on the bottom of the battery door and then pop it open like this, okay? And then to put it back together, what you want to do is put the bottom in like this first and then you're going to take the tab that you flip to it towards the front and pry it towards the battery door and then you're all sealed up ready to go so there's that if you guys have any questions on this uh, let me know they do make other mods for these that have the switch that go that's a new battery door and it comes up under the trigger guard and sits right here so you can operate it with your with your grip your middle finger, or you know, non-dominant hand or dominant hand, whatever you prefer. But I like it this way. I feel it's a little bit more easier for me to operate. So, uh, I, you know, for the beginning shooter or a little bit more advanced and beginner, I, I think this is a good light for him. It's a good starting light. I don't really see what you need more. It's 160 lumens. Plus, I trust Streamlight a lot. I've used their products before I'm a fireman, and their lights I use on my helmet, I trust them because I've put them through hell and back. And they get me through what I need to do. So, that is the TLR-1S by Streamlight.